What y'all doing out there in TV land, man? If you ain't tuned in to Kofi's universe, you slipping. That's why I go get all my info for Black Culture. He do the best album reviews I seen. You know what I'm saying? Dope rap reaction videos. He do it all. You heard me? Go to Kofi's universe right now. Subscribe to his YouTube channel. Man, stay in tune, loved one. That's how it's happening. Me. <laughs> YouTube salute. So Boosie and Redman discussed the Pusha T and Jim Jones battle at the BET Awards. If you're new to my channel, thumbs up that video, hit that sub button, click that bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. So Boosie, Badass, Redman, and Eric Sermon all weighed in on an ongoing feud between Pusha, Jim on the red carpet at the 2023 BET Awards. Speaking with Hip Hop DX, the two gave their reactions to the recent battle between the both rappers when boosie was asked about jones this track he replied no i didn't hear it but i heard he didn't like the verse right i don't know who will win that battle will be a good one though red man added i heard some of pusha t's joints but i ain't hear jim yet i know when jim puts his mind to it he goes in all right it wasn't bad sermon said of jim's disc record I was shocked, though, too, because, again, Jim came up late. As far as the lyrics and him spitting the rhyme, it was dope. But Pusha T is a real lyricist, for real. The battle between Jim Jones and Pusha T began back in April. You already know about that. I don't got to go too much about that. If you don't know too much about that, please check out my previous content on Jim Jones and Pusha T I've been doing for the last couple of months. So Charlemagne recently said that Jones' diss wasn't enough to beat Pusha T. I don't think that's enough. I think if you shoot a pusher, you gotta go ahead and drop the nuke. You just you just can't shoot. You gotta go ahead and drop the nuke now. That's what pusher's gonna do. If pusher replies, if we're looking at the way pusher has replied before, pusher's gonna drop a nuke off top. Somebody left a comment in my section at the video I talked about how Bush Pusher T, excuse me, Jim Jones got a pusher T and um no malice saying how Push said that if he wasn't on tour, he would be murdering everybody this summer. Cause you know, he he has, you know, stuff in the vault ready to go. I can see and I can agree to that. That if he wasn't on tour, there'd be a lot of stuff going on. But where I'm at right now, I just feel like when Pusha drops, when he drops something, it's gonna be like World War Three. It's gonna be like World War Three. Nobody not gonna see it coming. Everybody going to be shocked. Everybody going to be like, damn, um, you know, that happened. Wow. You know, and, and like I said before, Jim Jones, I don't think he knows what he's up against. I mean, I know he wants to challenge himself. He wants to say that, you know, he loves hip hop and rap, and I'm not taking nothing away from him because you're never supposed to wave your white flag when you're at war. But you're dealing with somebody that's at a di different caliber. Pusha T is a real lyricist, like for real. He might have the Coke bars and all that stuff, but he got flows. He got flows. I mean, people that talk about, you know, Coke rap, you got, you know, Benny the Butcher, Conway, you got Rick Ross. Those are lyricists right there. Freddie Gibbs would throw some stuff in there. That's a lyricist right there. You see what I'm saying? So those type of rappers that talk about that, they 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 real lyricists and even like Kooji rap when he came with the mafia rap he always been a a tip top lyricist you know Raekwon and Ghostface I mean they're well rounded but they can get down when it comes to, when it's time to get down Nas A Z Core Mega you know these are real lyricists right here you know so people be automatically assuming that oh yeah all he can do is talk about coke they can switch this shit up I mean Pusha T did a commercial for Arby's. <laughs> Think about that. Benny the Butcher, he did a commercial for the NBA draft last year. So it's like they can talk about whatever they want to talk about, but they know what lane they feel comfortable being in. So um, all I can say is just the fact that I'm just waiting for, um, I'm waiting for Pusha T to respond so he can actually go ahead and just nuke. Once this nuke is dropped, it's going to be a wrap. Like I said, everybody... That's going to be thinking, oh, I didn't know that was going to happen. Surprise. I'm not going to be surprised because I already know what we're dealing with. You know, we're dealing with somebody that they thinking 
pushing T's not going to reply or he going to come with some mediocre um, watered down reply, watered down response to diss track. No, he's going to come with something that's going to actually have everybody attention for the summer. Post your, post your comments below. Post smash Black Panther the like button. Subscribe, subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. If you want to support and donate to the channel, I have Patreon, patreon.com slash Kofi Universe. Venmo, Cash Out, PayPal, Streamlabs, everything's in the description. Till next time, salute.